Welcome back to the OpenAI saga. Last time we left off in a pretty peculiar state. It looked very down. Our heroes were at the lowest point in their journey. But now comes a beam of light. The story turns and twists about five different times over the last few days. And it was mighty entertaining. We'll go through what happened, including the newest developments, that there may be a new breakthrough in AI that was actually the cause for this whole thing because it's AGI material. We'll look into it and we'll look at what that is. If you're already aware of everything that happened, skip ahead to the end of the video. There's going to be memes uh, for anyone else. We left off with Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, the CEO and the chairman of the board of OpenAI, being fired slash resigning or being made to resign from OpenAI and uh, Mira Murati, the CTO, taking on interim CEO position and Microsoft being kind of mad at that happening because Microsoft was a big partner of OpenAI and now all of OpenAI is kind of in jeopardy. Employees being nervous, what's going to happen? Uh, no one really understands why this had to happen so quickly. So this is where we left off. Let's dive into the story in form of a Twitter timeline. So the first thing we learned is that Mira Murati plans to rehire Sam and Greg. So as a CEO, she's obviously in the capacity to rehire people as she sees fit. However, however, the OpenAI board said is looking to hire its own CEO and reached out to candidates. So there's two groups crystallizing the Sam Altman group where that want the old team back and Mira Murati tries to make that happen. And the board of directors now relieved of Greg Brockman, who want a change in leadership, who want one of their own people to be the CEO. Mira planned to hire Sam and Greg back. She turned Team Sam over the past couple of days. The idea was to force the board to fire everyone, which they figured the board would not do. The board went into total silence and found their own CEO, Emmett Shear. Emmett Shear is the former CEO of Twitch. It is claimed that they have spoken to others who have declined Emmett Shear took on the position of CEO of OpenAI. As if the new CEO wasn't a bombshell enough. After that, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella tweets out, we remain committed to our partnership with OpenAI and have confidence in our roadmap and our ability to continue to innovate with everything that we announced at Ignite in continuing to support our customers and partners. We look forward to getting to know Emmett Shear and OpenAI's new leadership team and working with them. And we're extremely excited to share the news that Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, together with colleagues, will be joining Microsoft to lead a new advanced AI research team. We look forward to moving quickly to provide them with the resources needed for their success. So Microsoft is essentially saying, yeah, we'll, let, we'll hang on to OpenAI because after all, we poured like 10 billion into them. But we'll hire Sam Altman and Greg Brockman internally so they can kind of build it up internally and we can finally push OpenAI away and for, forget about them. So Sam and Greg agreed to uh, go to Microsoft and build up an organization inside of Microsoft. Now, what was expected and what did happen is that a lot of employees were quite ready to follow Sam and Greg to Microsoft, which would have been devastating for OpenAI. Other news, uh, CEO Emmett Shear has so far been unable to get written documentation of the board's reasons for firing Altman, which also haven't been shared with investors. Employees responded to his announcement in OpenAI Slack with a FU emoji. Salesforce offered to hire anyone from OpenAI and match their comp package. And uh, as far as I can see, nobody cared. Then after that, we learn of an internal letter where employees signed up and essentially say, hey, board of directors, resign. Otherwise, we will go with Sam and Greg to Microsoft. On top of the list, Mira Murati, the CTO, now CEO. And you can see who joined the list, Ilya Sutskever. Ilya Sutskever was part of the board and part of the crew who fired Sam. 
and now seem to have turned sides. In fact, Ilya tweeted out, I deeply regret my participation in the board's actions. I never intended to harm OpenAI. I love everything we've built together and I will do everything I can to reunite the company. We later learned that the number of signers grew to over 700, which it's estimated that OpenAI has about 750 employees. Essentially, the entire company <laughs> said, we will quit and also go to Microsoft. Absolute Chad move from Microsoft here, essentially acquiring OpenAI without doing anything except let them do their own clownery until they implode. Later than we learned, as reported, Sam Altman's move to Microsoft isn't a done deal. And both Altman and Brockman are still open to returning to OpenAI. That is if the remaining board members who initially fired them step aside. So another twist in the story here in that they're going to Microsoft. But maybe we also later learned that OpenAI's customers are now in panic mode. Like what if OpenAI dies from this? And we've we've as a company have built technology based on OpenAI's APIs, all of them were going mad and considering all their alternatives they have available, which certainly didn't really help the chaos that was already going on inside of OpenAI. Then we learned from Sam Altman, I love OpenAI and everything I've done over the past few days has been in service of keeping this team and its mission together. When I decided to join Microsoft on Sunday evening, it was clear that that was the best path for me and the team. With the new board and with Satya's support, I'm looking forward to returning to OpenAI and building on our strong partnership with Microsoft. After all, Sam Altman returning to OpenAI. We have reached an agreement in principle for Sam Altman to return to OpenAI as a CEO with a new initial board of Brett Taylor, Larry Summers and Adam D'Angelo. We're collaborating to figure out the details. Thank you so much for your patience through this. And later, Greg Brockman tweeting out, we are so back returning to the kingdom. And that's where our story is as of right now. Our heroes have fallen, have struggled, have gone to faraway lands, Microsoft, and finally have returned in glory, being stronger than ever with the board that fired them resigned. Later, we learned a little bit about maybe some of the reasons. Now, again, all of this is speculative. There have been uh, rumors. Um, well, some of them isn't rumors. So one board member wrote a paper recently critical of OpenAI's approach, how they handle safety in uh, LLM deployment and so on. And apparently that led to a bit of friction there. There are, there are articles like before Altman's ouster, OpenAI's board was divided and feuding. Now people are kind of trying to make sense of this and it might very well be that there were disagreements um, and the disagreements are along the lines that I think we've outlined in the previous episodes of this drama where there is an element of OpenAI, mainly attached to Sam Altman, that wants to push ahead and commercialize and grow and deploy tech and bring tech out. And then there is an element that wants to be really considered, be really safe, whatever that means, and uh, essentially being super scared of AGI and rather wants to keep everything closed and everything locked down. And those two sides might have had some friction. We also learned from other sources that uh, in internal polls, open AI personnel said that some were signing out of being a little bit scared of peer pressure. Some were signing this letter to resign. A lot of people say there were a lot of noisemakers, but not actually too many people actually willing to resign. We won't know these kind of polls are anonymous and pretty much anyone can uh, contribute here. So who knows? Emmett Shear, the interim CEO, <laughs> tweeting out CEO any percent 55 hours, 32 minutes, new record. That's pretty cool. And so the last development, like you thought it couldn't get crazier anymore. Now we learn from an article from Reuters that ahead of the firing, several staff researchers send the board of directors a letter warning of a powerful artificial intelligence discovery that they say could threaten humanity. Mira Moratti told employees on Wednesday that a letter about the AI breakthrough called 
Q-star precipitated the board's actions. Given vast computing resources, the new model was able to solve certain mathematical problems. Though not though only performing math on the level of grade school students, acing such tests made researchers very optimistic about Q-star's future success. So this is where we are right now. And the entirety of AI influencers who previously were crypto influencers, who previously were DeFi influencers, who previously were, well, Bitcoin is cool, but blockchain is the real technology influencers who previously were lifestyle bloggers going mad about this development right here. Q star, this is it. This is AGI. <laughs> now, mind you, we have no clue what Q star is. It could be they typed like Q and the star, they're pretty close and someone held the shift key and just mashed that side of the keyboard and that's the name they gave it. Uh, it could be anything, <laughs> but people are interpreting wild things into this like, has OpenAI figured out Q learning for RLHF? Oh, wow. Are they doing Q learning? And the star, it could be alpha star. Oh, no. So they combined Q learning with with a star. It's not alpha star, a star with a star search. And it's able to plan and it's able to determine. And it's the math. It, okay, well, we have no clue what Q star is. Uh, it might as well be that QAnon is using Starlink to uh, finally bring a species of banana that the fruit is outside and the peel is on the inside. Um, it, it could be anything, but you'll read all kinds of speculations nowadays. And it's fun. Have a bit of fun. What do you think Q star is? Could it be, I don't know, could it be a new type of food? Could it be a new type of bag? Who knows? We'll maybe never learn and maybe we'll have some sort of an idea someday. But there seems to have been an internal development on some new method of interacting with data. Who knows that where people were like, oh, this actually works. That's pretty cool. And they did some preliminary tests and it seemed to have performed pretty well. So what we're conceivably looking at is a method to get sort of a bit more capable language models out of. Um, and then some people, especially some of these board members, might have pushed the AGI panic button uh, a bit prematurely as the the crowd that is into that tends to do. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of the total clown car that is OpenAI. And I think what it's told us pretty believably is that there is no, no shepherd of AI that is suitable. Like whenever these people now come and say, we should keep it closed, we should be the shepherds, we should, you know, not release it because we, we are the ones who really have the wisdom to, you know, see what you can't even hire a CEO for more than two days three. So, you know, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you want to make money, you want to keep it yourself because you want to make money, fine. But don't give me, don't give me the ah, safety and ah, we're so good. No, don't do that. You're incapable. You, it's ridiculous. Okay. And this can happen to any small group of people. Some people go mad. Some people get into personal feuds. Some people have different motivation. Takes one bad apple to break something like this up. If you actually are into safety, give it to as many people as you want. Until then, just admit you want to make some money. That's it. Now there's going to be some memes that I recorded a while ago. And yeah, bye bye. A lot of things in life are very important, such as whether you have food, your family is healthy, whether there's peace on earth, but most of all, the memes around the firing of Sam Altman, they are something, and we're gonna get to every one of them. I care about you, but I don't think we're compatible in the long term to cheer about Sam Altman. It's the only thing we care about these days. My girlfriend just texted me this. I need to talk. Can you jump into this Google Meet in the next 10? No, never.
Never do this. Samya saying, I can't do it. Can't do it. GPT-4. I killed your father. <laughs> a girl sleep. A boy sleep. They don't. The boys are monitoring the situation with the open AI. Who? <laughs> Damn right. This is too important to let slip. We must be on the ball. Google, <laughs> it's happening. Get ready to release Gemini. Google the forever announcers of stuff. Like just release something. Your company is in the stone age. What are you doing? Just train something and then release it. It doesn't even have to be good. Just release it. You could be doing so much better, but now would be the perfect time. Hold off. He's going back. Yeah, no, it will never be released, will it? So in response to everyone uh, sending hearts to Sam Altman, the official ChatGPT account also tweeted a heart. Ilya, we have lost the official corporate accounts. Shaking, shaking it for out of fear. OpenAI, Sam Altman. Sam Altman, woo. My God, that I live to see this. I specifically requested the opposite of this. That's how the board feels like right now. That must be the situation. I'm done with you. Bye. Two hours later. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, this one is not related, but I just thought it was funny. Please don't speak Italian to the goat. It's uh... I, I just thought it was funny. I'm sorry. Breaking Sam Altman will be replaced as CEO by Amsalt. <laughs> Make it a model with the with the washed out stuff. So if you look up Stalin and Photoshop, you'll get it. Is this a major inflection point in the AI era? I know this is supposed to be a joke because the people are very young and they're talking about something very profound. But honestly, anyone can get into AI now. Kids these days experimenting with language models. This might well be an actual thing that's happening. You know who else was betrayed by his own company on a Friday? <laughs> I wonder if he also joined the Google Meet. Satya Nadella learning OpenAI uses Google Meet. <laughs> Must be devastating. Don't, just don't. The alignment. Can't even align themselves. How should they align AI? Women with a time machine. I'm your granddaughter. Really? Men with a time machine. The board is going to betray you. 2030 if Sama had been more consistently candid with his communications. But he couldn't. Couldn't just didn't tell Microsoft right now. Our waits. <laughs> Pooping in there. Grab whatever you can. Sam Altman on Monday morning. <laughs> Sam Altman open AI. Let's go. Well, this was a bit of a, a sweep through it. There continues to be a lot of exciting stuff happening. I don't know. By the time this video is out, probably 10 billion things have already happened. I'm sorry to be behind. But yeah, keep the ball rolling, stay hydrated and keep the memes coming. They're good. See you around.